so uh, we will start uh, this lecture with uh, a brief discussion about protein sequence databases okay and we have discussed this uh, previously that protein sequences were um, um, started to collect it to, to be collected in a sort of database by uh, Margaret de Hoff group in 1970s. Uh, Margaret de Hoff and uh, her group pioneered the development of computer methods for comparison of protein sequences. They, they not only started to collect sequences, but they also started to develop computer programs for comparing protein sequences and their relationships, okay? And their evolution, evolutionary uh, relativeness. So this was the pioneer uh, work which was carried out by Margaret de Hoff in United States. Then, okay. uh, and this is the, this is the, you can say the present, uh, that is face of the database, which was started by Margaret de Hoff in 1970s. And now, now, nowadays we call this as the PIR International, that is Protein Identification Resource. Protein Identification Resource International, which is in Georgetown Medical, uh, Georgetown University Medical Center. And in 1984, uh, uh, they basically developed uh, 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 the, the uh, protein identification resource made by Margaret de Hoff Group in 1970s. Nowadays, they we nowadays they call this as uh, PIR International. PIR International has PIR International has three basically section at the moment. One section is in which uh, the protein protein sequences are classified into different families. And this is called as PIRSF database. And there is another database under the PIR International is PI Pro class. It is integrated protein knowledge base in which the protein sequences uh, and their function and their structure all are integrated and many other information. And uh, there is another part of PIR International is IPRO link which is basically uh, uh, a link for the literature and other information related to protein sequences. So we have three parts of, of PIR, uh, PIRSF part, IPRO class part, and IPRO link part. So this is the first, you can say, uh, database which was uh, uh, developed for storing and retrieving protein sequences. And then beside, beside uh, that is PIR International uh, database for protein sequences, uh, there is another, there was another database which was developed in, 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 in the Europe, in Geneva, in, in Switzerland. Uh, and the uh, the database called as ProSite, sorry, uh, SwissProt. The database name is the SwissProt, which is a manually annotated protein sequence database established in 1986 in Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics in Geneva. So this is another database, but of protein sequences developed in the Europe and the PIR International was developed simultaneously at the same time in the United States. And 
then um, in you can say around 2000 the swiss brought protein data, uh, database and pir protein database and other protein that uh, in, in databases were merged and they formed another they formed uh, uh, the you can say the universal protein uh, knowledge base which is called as the uniprot uniprot which is the central now which is the central hub for the collection of protein sequences and annotation of protein uh, information so the uniprot is now the universal protein data bank which contains all information which present in PIR International as well as SwissProt uh, database. Uniprot has uh, two parts, you can say, two main parts. One part is called as Uniprot SwissProt database, which is manually reviewed and manually annotated. That is, it is not. It is. It is reviewed and annotated by a person, uh, which uh, with, with the um, understanding of molecular biology and protein sequence and DNA sequence. So, so each and every record in the each and every record in Uniprot Swissprot database is manually annotated, manually checked by a person, by a scientist. Another database is called as Uniprot Trimble. Trimble, T R E M B L. This is uh, Trimble. T R stands for uh, translation, and E M B L is the uh, DNA sequence database of uh, in the in the uh, E M B L uh, European Molecular Biology Lab, as it is as I mentioned in the previous class. This Uniprot Trimble is unreviewed on, on, and automatically annotated. The annotation in the, of the sequences or sequence records in, in, in Trimble is basically carried out by automatically by the computer and it is not reviewed by, by a, a human being, by a scientist. But only the proteins here, DNA sequences are translated into protein coding DNA sequence regions are translated into amino acid sequences. Amino acid sequences and is stored in Uniprot slash Tremble database. So the two database, two parts of Uniprot, one part is uh, Uniprot Swissprot, another is Uniprot Tremble database. So this is uh, so all these information either you want to retrieve and you want to search uh, the DNA sequences or you want to search the protein sequences. All these are uh, can be can be searched by uh, by a service uh, in the NCBI web page called Entries, by which you can uh, it is an integrated text based search for the searching and retrieval of DNA sequences and protein sequences uh, from, the, from um, the NCBI website. There is another service which is called PubMed for, the, for searching millions of citations from Medline and other life sciences journals for biomedical research back to 1948. So using PubMed, you can search scientific literature uh, published on, 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 on life sciences and medical sciences. Okay, so this is a brief introduction about the about the protein sequences and protein sequence databases.